The other week I did a video uh, explaining the differences between bypass mode and brake mode and how it affects the uh, stability and smoothness of flight of the Mini 4 Pro. I also tried to do a bit of an impossible test going down the garden through this tunnel of uh, undergrowth and the like. Now, bypass mode has got two further options below it, two sub-options called normal or nifty mode. Now, the user guide actually says that uh, nifty mode will reduce the obstacle avoidance action slightly, uh, allowing the drone to maneuver more quickly and uh, niftily, I suppose, around obstacles, also increasing the likelihood of collision, which isn't a great little uh, caveat to throw in there. But I thought what I'd do today is actually show the differences between normal mode and nifty mode and see whether or not it can get through there. I still have zero expectations for it to get through that little tunnel. But I will go down further, uh, further down the garden. I've got the silver birch and the other bushes there. It makes a more normal um, obstacle course, if you like. And we can see exactly how uh, the two different modes compare there. So let's get the little bird up in the air and uh, put it through its first test. Okay, up in the air, first of all, we'll try bypass mode in normal mode. So we're in bypass, we're in normal mode. Let's see how it gets on. So just using the right stick. Oh, he's got lost again. He's gonna to go to a dead end. So let's just come back. Now, as before, I had zero expectations of him being able to do this. I wasn't able to do it last week. I had to end up turning it all off and flying manually. So one more go in normal mode. He's not happy. Come on. Oh, bouncing around all over the place. All right, not good, not good. Let's try and bring him back. Go up. All right, so nothing really surprising there. I wasn't able to do it last week. Can't do it this week. Um, let's pop it into nifty mode. So you get the little pop-up warning. Uh, la, 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 avoids obstacles with more subtle attitude. Smoothly increased collision risks used with caution. So you have been warned. Right, let's see if we can go any better with this. Right, let's see how we do. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh my Lord. Oh, wow. Okay, look at that. <laughs> my goodness me. Okay, he actually went straight through the tunnel. Let's, let's uh, push our luck, shall we? And uh, see if he'll come backwards. So I'm just using the right stick. Come back. Come back. Oh, he's going down a bit low. What's he gonna do? Oh, oh no, he's moving around it. He's gone down low. Okay. Right, okay, was not expecting that at all. Um, nifty mode is quite nifty. I'm genuinely uh, amazed at that because there are so many overhanging uh, branches and twigs, including some twigs without any leaves on. So it's doing really well. So let's, let's, I'm really amazed. So let's just go forwards again. Try and go a little bit faster, pushing my luck always, you know me. Going forwards, there, there, oh, look at that. Straight over to the right, wow. Okay, it's done it again without even thinking about it. Okay. That's absolutely amazing. Come back. He goes, he's happier to go to the lower to the ground. He's going to hit this. What's he going to do? Oh, he goes over it this time. I mean, he's making it look so straightforward. Now, as I said, with normal mode, the moment it came within about three or four feet of any obstacle, it was coming to a crashing halt. That 
was amazing. That was able to just slip through the gap, thinking about it, but uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to have been going much faster in truth, but yeah, genuinely amazed at that, as you can probably tell by the sound of my voice. So one last test, uh, I went down further to the silver birch, there's a bigger gap. Uh, let's see if it actually behaves any differently on a more um, easy to see obstacle and gap. So let's, uh, let's fly the drone down there. It's a bit higher this time, will he reduce in height? Yes, yes, look at that, straight through. Wow, okay, that is really, really impressive. Okay, so he's down near the silver birch. Let's just go for a little walk. So here we are back in normal mode now. We're straight at the uh, silver birch. There is a large gap to the left and there is a small gap to the right. Last week when I tried it in normal mode, it literally took the more difficult route and it went through that way. So let's just use the right stick again, see what it does. Off it goes to the right again. It's taken exactly the same route and then goes down towards the conifer there. Okay, let's bring it back. I bet you it comes the other way round now. That's the way he's pointing. Yeah, there he is going straight round and he is going to just go off to the left there because he's come out of alignment. So let's come back. So yeah, normal mode, he's all over the place again. He's very flighty and jumpy still. Don't like that. But let's bring him back to where he was. And this time now we'll go into nifty mode. You get the pop-up warning again. Uh, go a little bit more gung-ho. Let's go straight towards that silver birch. Oh, okay. He did a sharp little uh, left turn there for whatever reason. I went a bit close to that tree. I'll check the recording when, uh, when I get in, but uh, I don't know why he had that sudden change of heart. It's been pointed out that all of my drone's pronouns are he. I don't know why. It's just the way it is. Right, let's try one more time. Still in nifty mode. Still pointing towards, I mean, yeah, it's pointing directly to the silver birch, straight forward. And that time he goes that way. Okay. Obviously a little bit random. Makes it up, it goes along. Right, okay, so turn the camera around, you can see the tunnel uh, that it was having to work through. Um, I guess with large gaps and single large obstacles like the silver birch, um, there's not really much for it to think about. Big gap, I'll go through it. I don't know why it did the jerk to the left uh, on that second test with nifty mode. Um, I guess it's just deciding, uh, you know, it's making all the calculations as it flies. But what is really, really clear to me, and you can see, as I said, I've turned the camera around so you can actually see uh, this tunnel with all the overhanging uh, leaves and twigs and twigs and uh, big grasses coming up from the ground. Uh, I was not able to do that in normal mode. Uh, even in brake mode, it wouldn't work. The only way I was able to fly through there last week was when I took all the obstacle avoidance off and had to fly carefully through it uh, manually. Um, so for nifty mode to be able to get through that today, quite impressive. Um, obviously it is going to be flying closer to obstacles and I wouldn't be wanting to push the speed too much but what a brilliant brilliant extra little feature. So as I said that's a feature of APAS 5.0 I think. Um, absolutely amazing. So yeah watch out you don't want to you only crash it once as I've said. Props hit a twig they'll stop it falls down and the gimbal breaks. So you know treat it with care but what an absolutely brilliant little feature. Anyway, look, there we go. Fun video today, uh, making the most of good weather. If you like this as ever, give me a little thumbs up. Always helps the video along. Until next time, have fun, happy flying.